Good morning, folks. Believe it or not, there are glaciers high in the mountaintops in the tropics. At least there were. Scientists say that what has persisted for thousands of years is about to disappear. By now you know the 8.1 struck the Philippines. It has been universally downgraded. They are still digging out the landslide and counting the damage. The Caribbean plate took a moderate tremor this morning, potentially signaling an uptick for that area once more. Across the globe in the Gulf of Aden, not many quakes here, but a small swarm saw four fairly significant jolts in just under three hours. Isaac is dissipating over the central U.S. and will dump lots of rain. The other Atlantic storms should not be much concern. Real quick, it's that time of year we've been waiting for. In case you don't remember, here is the entire year's F1 critical frequency coming up through last solar maximum to now year by year. You can see the slow cumulative over-ionization, and in my opinion, this energy change is a key indicator of what's happening. This, while most of you slept, a flash broke the silence on the GOES X-ray imager, produced that large bump which is a multi-hour long duration hydro flare. The proton counts began rising in the wake and that means we have something to watch for. How about one of the most spectacular eruptions they've ever seen? Their words, not mine. This is the magic filament from three weeks ago, the one that erupted but somehow reassembled on the sun. There is no chance of that now. The SOHO images show unbelievable ejecta, plasma, ions, and the first bit of star water. The halo eruption on the C3 means Earth is going to be hit. According to the NASA CME arrival time prediction on ISWA, the impact could happen tonight or tomorrow morning. However, their endless spiral shows a later impact tomorrow. NOAA's endless spiral sees no impact until the 3rd. That is a huge window of uncertainty. Hey, Jack, help us sort this one, eh? Last but not least, nice of NOAA to agree about 1560 being beta gamma. By the time you are watching this, however, it could be delta. If we get both polarities within the same penumbra, within one degree, the sun's going to fire a big one. The regions on the southeast are large and developed, but magnetically simple. What a sight, folks. We'll leave you with that. It's the news. Be safe.